Now, I want to talk about the times when, you know, you, you just want to get a quick, dirty road in somewhere because you've got other work to do on it that is maybe too big a pain to do a traditional road job on, but you still want to get most of it out of the way. And here's what I'm talking about. Um, I'm going to do this street here. And the reason I don't want to do a full-blown let's take it out to these edges and stuff is I've got a couple spots on each end. I'll pick those up, extend this out, and, and you know look at what the 3D polylines do to see if it works and then adjust accordingly. But I want the heavy lifting out of the way. So let's talk about a quick way to do something. Um, and what I want to do is, is come in and I want to do, this is called North, uh, North End Drive, that's it. So I'm just going to get um, our center line, our profile, and our design template for North End Drive. And um, let's see, I could draw a design section. Uh, I really don't care um, because I don't need to clean this up in sections, so that's not a big deal. And after we get um, uh, the basics out of the way, we come in and uh, I want to do the full station range. Um, let's see what else we might want to do. Let's triangulate and contour. I think I've already done this, so it'll, uh, yeah, Northland. Okay, so it's going to make that, uh, that file. Uh, we're going to draw the lines and verify that Northland tin. And we're going to replace that and say OK. And I'm going to overwrite the, the existing file and uh, erase the, the previous road entities just in case they, you know, uh, they were there. And we say OK. And it's going to just process uh, a quick road design. And uh, let me freeze these contours here, get these out of the way. We don't necessarily need those. Um, and I now have a road design. And this is, um, I think it's just a simple, you know, single slope. Um, let's see, there's no center line elevation, so I'm guessing it's a single slope uh, with this being the high side here. And I'm going to be able to take these faces and then also the 3D polylines that were drawn in that road. And I'm going to take these things and utilize them to be parts of a new surface that contains these elements. Well, what about other things like, you know, this is technically a road also, and this is going to come into here, and that needs to be adjusted, and if I'm going to do a road, it's going to blast through to here um, at this intersection, but I've got to get these arcs in, so there's work to do there. So there's a lot of things that have to happen uh, in order for this thing to be detailed out but believe me we run time and motion studies on these things all the time and sometimes it's just easier to bang out a quick road get the heavy lifting out of the way there's a bulk of this thing done because we're following a good profile and then the cross slope respects that profile obviously because it's a road job and now all we're going to do is just plug in these parking areas and really get stuff correct easier, quicker, better, so it works well. Now, let me just turn on the, um, uh, the surface and show you uh, what happens when we get this put together. And let's see, probably shut those up because they're not part of it. All right, so now when things got put together and organized, you can see the road is in there but now all these other features are included that give the slope a correct feel and look. And let's just take ourselves to um, to one more level of, um, uh, uh, of of accuracy. So this is the this is the tin file of the road, and you know you can see we've got that basic road in. But then we turn around and look at the surface of the project and see how that one comes out. Oops, it's probably a little bit over there. There we go. Um, so let's take a look at the project surface. 
and let's open that up right now and what happens is when all these pieces get put together um, we're going to kind of look from there and just kind of know that everything is the way it's supposed to be and there we go move this over here and you'll see again when we incorporate all those pieces things not only look right but they have a way that join together manually again we, you just don't have to get crazy sometimes with all sorts of goofy offsets and you know following edges of, of paving and things like that because when it's all said and done you're out for expediency and sometimes just a quick dirty road and clean up the details is the way to fly.